Five Truths About Empowering People. So the role of a leadership or leader has changed over the last few years due to the pandemic and other things that have happened. So the idea is that better people lead to better business. When this empowerment is fostered, these people become more committed, more strategic, more intuitive, creative, and analytically competent. We cannot ignore the power of people. It could be as simple as giving your employees an opportunity and a promise that they are the fabric of the institution. This means trusting your staff, giving them the opportunity to show that they can do it, giving them the freedom to do what they need to do, to formulate ideas, permission to uh, make decisions, and the power to drive strategical initiatives that lead to successful business. Here are some benefits of allowing employees to manifest that power, that empowerment in showing their own personal beliefs about where they fit into the company. Truth number one, a flat organizational structure can eliminate the excess management layers and it's gonna open communication and increase transparency in the workforce. Less layers has the power to reduce the sink or swim mentality. Fewer management levels can improve productivity and decision making among your employees. Truth number two, transparency of the organization's core goals and values. This makes it so the employees are engaged and want to be part of this organization. So the goals and objectives of the company should be clearly shown or presented to the employees so that they know exactly what's going on. So this means that the staff will understand their role, their goal, and what the company is going for, what the company is seeking, what the expectations are for them and the company. This effort that the company makes for their employees is truly empowering. It builds their confidence and their feelings about the company to know that they are empowered to do what they need to do. So truth number three, team development is what matters most for employee performance. So leaders often focus on the metrics of what's going on rather than being uh, or empowering the people. So they don't have strong bonds with their employees or their colleagues. So to do this, they increase engagement. Truth number four, actions speak louder than words. Employees want to be heard. One of the best ways to do this is allowing them to have a say. Truth number five, HR can't go it alone. They can't do it all. So empowerment and engagement can't be solely assigned to human resources. It has to be other aspects of management as well. So empowerment needs to come from the top down. There is no quick fix when it comes to human relations and how we relate to one another. So it's essential that leaders really dig in and try to make a difference and effectively and purposefully interact with and develop each team member over time. But remember the level of relationship building needs to be done sooner than later. We appreciate you guys being here. Um, you guys have a great day. Check out the links below. We'll talk to you soon.